Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the default fields of a WooCommerce checkout. So currently, this is how the checkout looks like in the billing fields. And I already forced the billing and shipping one. I don't want them to fill in different fields. So yeah, I just want to have one field for the checkout process and by the way i am using an elementor plugin if you want to want this kind of checkout process let me just show it with you how the process looks like like if you want this kind of vibe then feel free to open or download the elementor um free version and if you want to access or unlock the other features of elementor then you can feel free to open to their pro plan so anyway back to the tutorial we will need to add more fields in here. And that can be done by installing another plugin called WooCommerce. Um, let's call that it's WooCommerce Checkout Field Editor. And um, you can unlock these features by going into the plugins and install plugin. Now I've already um, I mean installed that plugin again it's called checkout field editor for woocommerce and that can be accessible for free by clicking the add new section and just search in the plugin name um, if you can see in here it's already installed so it should be good to go and if it's already activated you can see this checkout form sections in here so under this checkout form we have different tabs in here we have a billing field and shipping fields and as i said with you guys i already um, merged the billing and the shipping so you don't need to um, worry about the shipping field section so just focus on the billing um, section and um, currently if you notice here these are called uh, others that are checked is called required which means that they cannot proceed with the checkout process if they did not fill in the field so these are like this red one are called required one again company name are optional but you can also rename that one if I search in company so this is like the company name and let's say i want that to be changed to because i have in here um i want to call that product production company name so control c put it in there and then enable so enable which it means that it will be visible on the front end if you don't want that to be visible on the front end well that's fine you can just uncheck that part here but obviously we want that to be you know enabled for them to um, put in the necessary details so click the save more and if i update the changes i'm gonna refresh the checkout page you'll see that the product company name is already there it's ready to replace and i don't want that to be optional that should be required i'm going to save that again and saved and save changes now if you want to add more fields in here um and by the way i think i'm going to change this one to just specifically in california in the united states but yeah i just need to ask some of the details if it really needs to be isolated in one country so yeah if you want to add more fields so let's go go back in here i'm sorry for that <laughs> yeah so you just need okay let's say product name so i'm gonna add a new field again um i want it to be just um label should be product name and let's just name it product name by the way this name thing in here are fields so if you want to you know um add more css classes or design your fields then you can target this um labels in here or just this one okay so i want to make that require display it in the emails as well and in, in the order detailed pages okay and then when you say order detailed pages um let me just show it with you i'm gonna try to fill this out so if i click the place order it will be showed in the ordered receive section so ordered receive sections these are like the billing information that i filled in earlier so if you want the sh this one this product name to be showed into the ordered receive page then you just need to tweak this part click this part called display in order details display in emails it looks like this i'm going to show it to you now go into the fresh 
refresh that, uh, click that. So you should able to see that in there. So that's what it means. Um, go back and let's save it now. So that's how it works really. And obviously if you want to delete or disable things, then you just need to um, like this billing address thing. I don't really, we don't really need to have two billing information in here. I can just remove that stuff. Or if you're not sure if you want to reuse it, maybe in the future, you can just disable it instead. So I'm going to save it now. And yeah, that should be good to go. Um, yeah, go back to with the checkout. I'm going to go back with the checkout to process. And yeah, I, I think I just need to add more things in here. Add. Oh, add, add. Go back with the checkout. Checkout. And yeah, as you can see here, other things are already replace and um, remove there's no longer an address to thing and to also manipulate the additional information fields if you don't want this to be on the checkout form it's in this part here called additional field so if you don't want that to be there you can always just disable it or entirely um, remove it on your options like you can disable it you can use it in the future or just you know remove it entirely remove it into your additional option okay i'm ready to remove that and also here advanced settings is just more into like overriding like here as you notice here um enable label override for address fields and placeholder um yeah validation override i don't think you really need to um you know um worry about that and the more premium features is this are just more fields that you can put in into your checkout process like most of the time it's just a text field and you know um like it like a number or a drop down box but if you open to their premium feature plan then you can also come up or you can also add a fields where they can upload a file they can put a time picker um good for our services so yeah it's a good thing but this is just a pure um e-commerce like internal purpose e-commerce site so we really don't need some sort of like data picker thing but yeah it's a good thing to use if you are into a service industry so yeah that's how it works guys and if you have any question feel free to comment down below i'll be happy to assist you have a great day